You guys see that? <laughs> What's going on guys? Adam Hilstead here with Straight Yak coming to you from the beautiful state of Pennsylvania for right now in this portion of the video. But as you can tell, I got the kayak loaded up. The truck is all cleaned off. It's pretty, it's ready to go because now granted it's February, but we are doing our very first tournament of the year. It's gonna be at Lake Murray in South Carolina. I've got about an eight and a half hour drive. Anyways, guys, I got off of work. I'm ready to hit the road. I'm probably gonna get down there around midnight or so, maybe one o'clock in the morning. And we're gonna try going for the Bass Master Kayak Series first place. That's what we're aiming for. Now granted, this is gonna be one of the toughest tournaments I ever fished because there's over 240 people currently uh, right now that are registered for this tournament. So <laughs> 240 anglers I'm gonna be going up against this weekend uh, in Lake Murray, South Carolina. I'm excited to get down there guys because <sighs> That lake supposedly is peaking. I watched the whole Bassmaster Elite Series last year, 2023, and that was post-spawn. And it just seemed like any, any camera that paint to a new angler was reeling in another five pounder. And so I'm hoping that number one, we go down there, we cut a check. Number two, proclaiming right now, I'm gonna, I'm gonna win this thing. And number three, I would love to get a new personal best, man. My personal best right now, fishing here in Pennsylvania, is about a 21 and a three quarter inch uh, largemouth, about seven and a half pounds. I think we could beat it this weekend, but if anything, we're gonna have a good time. We're gonna have a good time down there. So guys, look, I I'm done talking. We're gonna get moving. We're gonna meet up with a good group of guys in the house, just like we did at Sandy Cooper last year. And uh, you know what? I'm looking to just go out there, relax, have a good time, but obviously also fish. But I, again, I think I'm done talking. Guys, if you wouldn't mind, please hit that like and subscribe button down below. <sighs> Let's get to it. All right, first turn of the year here on Straight Yacht. My name is Adam Milstead, and I'm a former USC fighter turned extreme kayak angler. I travel around the country fishing bass tournaments out of kayaks. So if you like kayaking and you like fishing, then welcome to Straight Yak. It was a long drive. All right, let's go ahead and uh, get into the house. I think everybody, everybody should be sleeping. Hopefully. Nice and That's why I'm sleeping. Okay, guys. I'll see you in the morning. All right, we're loaded up, ready to go. First launch here at Lake Murray. Got the Torquedo 1103 on there. That's my setup. That's what I'm throwing. That's what I'm throwing. Oh yeah. Focus on that jackhammer. Yeah, baby. I think that's gonna be a color. Anyways. Again, still having an outage on the phone. I have no idea how this is gonna go. Hopefully it's fixed by tournament season, but uh, I'm gonna hook up the GoPro just on the back camera, and then we'll do a little bit of pre-fishing and see if we can find something. I mean, there's about 30 other guys here, so maybe this is the right spot. We'll see. All right. All right, guys, so I just found out that the GoPro wasn't recording. And uh, so I'm not sure how much of that pre-fishing that you actually got a chance to see, but 
Um, we sort of put a pattern together. It was really tough. Uh, one location was a small micro uh, Kitech football jig that was working. Got like, I don't know, three 17s and a 16. Again, I'm not sure how much of that you saw. Thank you, GoPro, for making a very finicky product. Anyways, guys, we're loaded up. We're gonna go ahead and uh, get back to the house. Maybe hang out with the guys, do a little bit of drinking, whatever. Just have a good time. It was a tough day, but we, um, we found some fish and we have sort of a pattern here. Uh, tomorrow, we're gonna go somewhere completely different and hopefully, get a hold of something all right well let's go let's uh let's have a little bit of fun tonight i won't have to let my uh my splash get big Try to be high okay. second location of the week uh, the water is really muddy here but uh, you give it a shot load it up I'm gonna keep the GoPro off today only because I only got one left and uh, it's raining today so I'm gonna try to bring you guys along tomorrow all right we're loaded up ready to go Hey John, you ready to fish in the rain? No. <laughs> no. Alright, I'm going to try videoing for you guys as much as possible. Uh, I just got my first one. Really ugly, ugly looking, you know, uh, largemouth. But uh, about a 15 incher, got it on a Booyah spinnerbait. Um, we just got out here, so that might be, uh, might be the ticket. I'll show you what I'm using. Right there, pretty simple, you know, gold blade because this water is, you know, basically chocolate milk out here. So let's uh, let's keep let's keep doing this thing. Go. All right, guys. So I just got my board checked. Um, got my badge or my uh, identifiers. So yeah, we're gonna give it heck. Um, now. I don't think I talked about the pre-vision today. We went to sort of some muddy water and I wanted to sling a spinnerbait. And man, my arm is tired. I'll probably cast it over 500 times. And uh, one bass, one bass, one 15 incher. And I uh, realized immediately that that's not the spot I'm gonna go to. So anyways, we are going to go to the first place that we went to, which again, you probably didn't see much of that uh, video because the GoPro shut off. So this, <laughs> we're starting the first first tournament of the year off great. Um, but anyways, uh, ended up going to the Academy Sports up here, picked up a few uh, small compact uh, dirty jigs and I'm not a jig fisherman at all. I'm not a jig fisherman. In fact, I hate jigs and it was the only thing I was able to get sort of like a pattern going and it was just on some rocky structure and stuff like that. So. I have no idea how tomorrow's gonna go. I know I'm most likely going home early. This is uh, this has just been tough. Um, you know, it, it's been really difficult. Uh, you know, keeping water out of the boat. Um, the wind has been pretty terrible. Uh, it's just blowing, just gusting. White caps on the water, and man, it just you can only take so much of it in a kayak out there. So I know where the fish are. I don't know what they want to eat 
and uh, it's all main lake fishing. Uh, these fish really haven't begun moving up. It's the water temperature still low 50s. Heck, just barely into 50 degrees. <sighs> just small compact jigs. That's the only thing that's been working for me, man. And uh, you know, just finding, finding. Uh, you know, structure that's right next to these really deep submerged uh, creek beds, and then going out there and just hoping I get lucky. That's that's what we're gonna do. Oh, all right, guys. I'm going back to the house. Probably stop at this little local bait shop and see if there's anything kind of interesting there to throw tomorrow. But uh, if anything, I'm just gonna chill out and relax the rest of the day, and then get ready for tomorrow. All right. See ya. All right, we're currently waiting in line. I'm not kidding you. There's probably 40 guys here right now. And I got here early. I got here super early. So uh, we're just going to go ahead and do what we can. I mean, I like to think that the reason why so many people are here is because this is the spot. So. This is insane. All right. It, there's, I've never seen this before. <laughs> so much red and green. Of course, there's another like 20 guys behind me. Um, yeah, we're getting ready to launch here and uh, get a heck. See what happens. This is, uh, this is really cool. All right. Cold out here too. Whew, chilly. I miss Jackson. Miss the kid. Oh, I gotta, I gotta film this. That's it, guys. Good luck. Be in the first press. <laughs> <Don't. laughs> All right, guys, so we're at our first stop, probably our only stop <laughs> until at least we get a limit. Um, not sure how the rest of this day is going to go. This is the only place I was able to really put together a, a pattern of some sort. And uh, I have no idea what it's, what it's like now after yesterday. So I found this place Thursday. Very simple, everybody knows about it. Um, I'm just, I'm surprised there's not a, a, other guys here, which means that maybe, maybe they've got way better spots. <laughs> Anyways, guys, we're gonna try here. Uh, it's been the the Kitech football jig, the small, um, you know, I think it's a quarter ounce or three sixteenths ounce football jig, micro, with, tipped with a Z Crawl Junior. Um, but I'm gonna run some spinner baits and stuff right here uh, at the beginning of everything, uh, just to see if I can get a couple of roaming bass, roaming bass that are just kind of sitting there. So we'll see what happens. We got about another. 15 minutes before lines in.
Oh God. One too bad. Uh, one too bad. But yeah, that's like a goat. Yeah, about a three pounder, 17 inch or so. Yeah. yeah. Five guys. Eighteen twenty five.
14, there's number five. Y'all, I'm in second place right now. Let's go. All right, so we've got our five. I'm sitting in second place right now. Uh, it's almost nine o'clock. It's hoping to get a couple more here. And all I'm doing is just dragging a, uh, a football jig, a micro football jig. This one happens to be from uh, Kitech. Alright guys, so that is day one of the Bassmaster Kayak Series here on Lake Murray. Uh, went out there, I did something I haven't done all week, which is I put up a limit <laughs> and it was a decent one. I got 80 and a half inches, which plus, pushes me to, um, at one point I was in second place, but um, after everybody submitted their fish, I was down to uh, 36th place, which is still out of 250 people, not bad. Now, today, uh, I went out to just a spot that I knew I could catch them at, and I knew exactly how this day was gonna go. It was gonna get out there, I was gonna get a, a couple of fish, and then all of a sudden the wind was gonna start. Sure enough, it did that. Um, I started the day out um, throwing some moving baits, but then I went right back to this micro football head jig that I've been using from Kitech. It's a 3 8 ounce. Kitech football jig uh, in brown with uh, a Z-Craw Junior on the back of it and uh, was really just dragging that thing around on a shaky head rod. And the reason why I was doing it, number one, because it, it is a little bit of a lighter jig, so I wanted some light line. Number two, having that light line, I was able to cast into the wind a lot. And then when I did cast in the wind and drug it back to me, that was generally where most of my fish came from. Um, but that wind got terrible, just absolutely atrocious near the end. And I took on a lot of water in the kayak. And so uh, there were a couple times I had to get out and basically bilge out the water and stuff like that and then eventually go back out and fish and it was really difficult but still I'm happy with the finish I mean I basically fished till about like 12 and then at after 12 o'clock I was just fighting the wind it was so it was terrible absolutely terrible um, missed two very key fish in the morning um, the first one was the biggest of the day sure enough I didn't get a chance to bring that one in and then the second one I hit um, I didn't get a chance to see that one, but uh, it felt pretty good. And then there was another one sort of in the middle of that spiel of me catching fish that I had one probably about 16, 17 that would definitely helped lost it as well. But it's just one of the things you just got to keep going. You got to keep casting. And so that's what I did. And like, like you saw, I was able to put up a decent amount. So 36 out of 258 anglers is pretty good in my book. Um, 
and it's not going to take much to move up. I mean, just a half inch call would pr have probably moved me up into the 20th position. So tomorrow we're going to go out there. We're going to try to do the same exact thing we did. There's going to be, it's going to be post frontal conditions. We're going to have cold weather come in tonight. And uh, I, I feel this football jig is going to really shine over everything else. Everybody else is catching all their stuff on moving baits. I think probably tomorrow the uh, the jig is going to shine a little bit more. So we're going to try that out. Anyways, I'm going to head back to the house. But before then, I've got to try to find these Kitech jigs somewhere around here. If somebody's got them, I'm going to try picking them up. I've only got one left, one of the brown ones left. And that was the ones that was working. They didn't want any other color. So. I'm gonna go to a fishing store around here, try to find some stuff, and then eventually get something to eat, hang out back at the house, rig up, and get ready for tomorrow. So thanks for watching. Uh, let's jump into day two here on Straight Yak. All right, okay, bye.